you a direct political question. Uh, you're contesting against a very senior politician here. So do you think you have uh, you can defeat him? How confident are you? Senior politician of 15 years. Uh, but I think that no one, and I mean no one, is, invi is invincible. I am very confident that the ideas, the politics, which we are doing is one which is a politics of the people and the people will speak because people need much better they need for the state to do much better they need much more than what this constituency has seen and it is possible and together we will do it I mean, uh, your party is restricted to only three candidates or are you planning to put up some more as of now i think for the 2023 elections there are three of us um, there's just three more months to the elections and, and uh, people must know that for us deciding, preparing, working towards this election has not just been this year. Since last year we have been thinking, we have been putting together our document because we wanted to, to communicate to people and give them almost like a covenant in writing about what we stand for and what we will do. So all of those things, the things that have gone into us preparing for this election have been for many, many months. And so um, to think of putting up our candidates now, just three more months, it's not possible. But this is a beginning. And we hope that in 2028, we will take the assembly by storm. Uh, Kong, like uh, money power has become an ugly but important aspect in every election. So how are you going to tackle this during your campaigning, during your fight in this election? You know, the ones who have money have only money. I have said that so many times. And the ones contesting and trying, many people trying to contest and defeat those with money are also trying to do that with money. So you have somebody who has five crores and you have somebody who has three crores. You know, so... I think that uh, because there has never been a clear alternative which is not based on money and muscle power, the people have had to choose the lesser evil, you know, and sometimes whoever is spending more. But this time, I think the people are being presented with a very, very clear alternative. We are asking people to choose, to think and to vote for ideas, for commitment, and for somebody who will have your back at all times, who will be with you. We don't believe in buying people. We don't be, people are worth much more than what is being paid for their one-time vote. They are worth years and years of dignity of labor, of their rights as workers, of health care, of education. Those things are priceless, and that is what we promise you. You see, the government has been going on uh, inaugurating foundation stones and schemes, etc. You see, this has been election ploy, or what is it? It has always been like that, isn't it? And that also the people should realize they're being cheated. For five years, they're not getting what they ought to. Drinking water is a right which should be coming every day, not in the last year when we have to go and cast our ballot. Street lights, our streets should have been lighted up, and we should have been safe walking those roads and streets and lanes for five years, for 10 years, not just now when it's three months away from election, you know? An overflowing drain should have been taken care of many months ago, many years ago. So you're right when you say that these are uh, election ploys. And also, it has been a habit that this happens. But I think the people are fed up, they're tired, and people are no longer fools. They, are, they have never been fools. It's just that they have never had a clear choice, as I said. And uh, they will, they will speak through their ballot.